guys, so I'm getting so many nostalgic vibes right now because I moved my chair into my room, which if you've been watching my videos for a while, you probably recognize this chair from like my first videos. So yeah, because I've added in my chair recently and my bed is on a completely different wall now and I got like a new bedspread and my room looks a lot different than how it used to and I love watching room tours on YouTube because it just gets all those creative juices flowing to like decorate your room and make your house look all cute and I just, I love decorating things. If you want to redecorate your room and want to get inspiration from looking at my room or if you just want to look at how I have my room decorated because I'm super proud of it, um, here we go. To start off, next to my door I have this little, it's a shelf from Ikea that's supposed to be vertical but I have it flipped horizontal so I can fit books in there. It used to have like little shelves but I like took those bins out and now it's a little bookshelf and above it I just have some knickknacks like a picture frame, some, a book, you know just a candle, things like that. And then I have a small little gallery wall. The dream sign is something that I painted myself and all of the other things I've bought at different stores like on clearance or I've made, I've got while I was on vacation. And then next to that I have my closet which is kind of a mess like it's pretty organized But it just has like a bit of clutter that I kind of need to situate So I don't know if I'll ever do a closet tour because there's it's, it's a small closet There's not much to it. It's just there it holds my stuff and then next to that I have this little corner area where I have my fan because my room gets very hot and I don't have a ceiling fan behind that I have my wall of instant photos that I've taken over the past few years. My desk is from Ikea Ikea is great to get some cheap furniture. I have a lamp on there. I have all my pens and pencils and I store a lot of my most used notebooks in my magazine holder thing and then above that I have my bulletin board. Next we have my window with all my plants on the windowsill. I really want to get more plants but I just haven't gotten around to it and my mom won't let me because I have too many. My favorite plant, Rachel, recently was injured because I had my window open and I don't know if Ripley got excited and like knocked her off of the windowsill or if the wind was so strong that it knocked my plant off the windowsill with its pure force. She fell, she had a few injuries, but she's recovering quite well. Then we have my mirror. My mirror is from Walmart. I painted it because it used to be brown. Now it's like a lilac-y purple-ish color. And then we have my bed. I love my bed. I, it's so comfortable. I love it. I have a tapestry above it from Amazon that kind of acts like a headboard type Thing. All of the bedding I have is from Target except my satin pillowcase. That I don't remember where I got. I have that because I have curly hair and satin pillowcases are good for curly hair. You know, you know, maybe you didn't know. Well, now you know. And then we have my blobfish, which is from Amazon. His name is Simon. I love blobfish. They're the best. Then we have my nightstand. My nightstand is from Ikea and in my drawers I store like my underwear and my bras and my socks and all of those type of things. And then on top of that I have a vase full of fake flowers, a little pedestal stool thing with a candle, those are both from Target, and a lamp that I also got from Target, which was 50% off. I got it yesterday. I was absolutely living. On my next stand, I just have one of the books I just finished reading, which is Whiskey Words and a Shovel by R.H. Sin, which was quite good. Then we have my other guitar, Petunia, over there. I love books, as you can tell. Quite the book fanatic. I have a lot of them. Last time I counted, I had like roughly 200, but I also just sold a lot of mine to half-price books, so I might have less now. But it's around that like 180. 200 range. I have my hamster Theodore's bin cage. Next to that we have where I am sitting right now and it is my chair. This used to be in my old room whenever my mom and I lived in an apartment. We lived in that apartment we didn't have room for this chair in our living room so it was in my room and then we moved into this house we had room for this in our loft area. You're not supposed to spend that much time in your bed and your bed is only supposed to be really reserved for sleeping or sex and if you're like doing other things like on your laptop or reading in bed it could kind of make you not fall asleep as fast. There's a whole like science behind it. There's like actual factual information that rhymes. Whenever I spend too much time like in my bed, I feel really lazy. So if I'm gonna stay in my room and be on my laptop, I usually try to gravitate towards this chair because then I'm technically getting out of bed even though I'm still in my room and I'm like literally a foot away from my bed. And this chair's a little bit too big for my room, but I make it work. So this is here, so I'm not sad all the time. Above this chair, I have my gallery wall. All of my photo frames except for like 
a, a few of them are from the dollar store. Also on this chair, I have this The Future is Bright pillow. Then all around my room, I have Christmas lights. Most of them have like a green cord, which I really hate that. I wish all of them were plain white because it would match with my room aesthetic more. So if you enjoyed this video and got any sort of inspiration from it or just liked it, make sure you like give it a thumbs up, maybe comment below. While you're down there, you could subscribe, but it's up to you. I can't tell you what to do. I'm not your mom or your dad. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So bye! Call for a job.